what's up guys and welcome to part 11 of tutorial series on aws audio analysis in the previous tutorial we have created the database uh, and the crawler uh, that is something you can see on my screen right we have created aws audio analysis uh, cw crawler right in the previous tutorial and now in this tutorial we are going to run this crawler and let the crawler create the metadata table for us and apart from that i will also show you how to create a table manually right so we will start with uh, running this crawler so i'm going to select this and i will say uh, run crawler now the status will change to running right so it's now running it means it's starting now so if you remember then uh, we have selected the frequency option uh, as run on demand in the previous tutorial Right, so that's the reason uh, we have to run it manually. In case if we have set a scheduler for hourly or if we had set a cron job, then uh, it will have been self invoked um, within a given time. Right, we can also uh, invoke this crawler or run this crawler programmatically uh, using Boto3. Right, so Photo 3 have a method uh, saying start underscore crawler so we can also use that so now the status is starting right now we have last run median run time tables updated tables added as zero right if this crawler runs successfully then we will have one under tables added because um, we have only one json file and it will create one table so now as you can see on the screen uh, we have uh, one mentioned in the tables added column so now the status is changed to stopping so once uh, the scroller will uh, finish running we will have a link here uh, for the logs right so in case if there is some issue we can go ahead and check the logs that what's going wrong here So it's still under stopping status. So it might take some time to change this status to ready back again. Anyways, uh, we can come back here later. So let's go ahead and click on tables and check the tables uh, this crawler has created for us right so if you remember then uh, we have created the database called aws audio analysis and now we have one table under that database so let's go ahead and uh, click on that so here we have some uh, metadata information uh, like name of the table database so if, if you look at classification so it has identified that document as a json right and then we have location uh, connection we don't have because we we didn't mention any connection so this option might get populated while we are dealing with postgresql or mysql database using jdbc right deprecation no and then we have other information over here and if we look at the schema it has created uh, one column for us right so it had named it as array so let's look at this schema so we will click on edit schema and let's look at array now if you see then uh, it has identified this structure this is the array schema right so so let me uh, just take you through uh, why it has uh, come up with this schema this particular array schema right so I will quickly go ahead and download our uh, JSON file. So when I say JSON file, it's the final output of our sentiment analysis, right? So I'm going to download this file. And I will try to keep it simple. So I will open it over here. And then we'll go back to Glue click on array and I will select the schema and I will paste it here 
right so so we'll keep it simple i will I, i'm just mapping these things that how it has came up with the structure right so we have array so array is defined over here as a list right so this is our array so it has start from here and ending over here right so that is array then we have a dictionary so dictionary uh, is defined by struct right just mapping it so it has a, a key value pair right so so dictionary is starting from here so we have a struct over here right and then we have key value pair so let me make it like this right so we have a struct then we have uh, maybe like this then we have sentiment as a key so we have same sentiment as a key over here then the value is, is sort of string right so it's data type is string then again we have sentiment score so it's same and then within sentiment score we have again uh, a dictionary right so it's again struct right so we have struct over here right as you can see and then we have uh, key and value again that positive and this data type is double right so it's like positive double key and its data type key and its data type right until mixed so let me yeah right so so this is how the uh, glue has come up with that structure that array schema structure right so this this is how uh, it's mapping with each other right now if we want to uh, create the table manually correct so we'll go back to tables here now if i want to create the table manually then i, I will click on this add tables so here we have two option so if i click on add tables using crawler then it will redirect me to a crawler creation screen right that we have seen in the previous tutorial but right now we want to add table manually right so i will say comprehend manual underscore table as a table name select the database so i will say aws audio analysis you can also add a database on the fly right and click on next then here again we have to select data store as we have selected in the while defining the crawler right so we will say AWS audio analysis comprehend here select next now uh, what crawler does is, is it automatically identify the type of the document right uh, using inbuilt classifiers until and unless we have uh, we had not defined any uh, custom classifier right so now here we have to define uh, ourselves so right in our case it's json right we know that so we'll select json then click on next now here uh, we have to add the column manually we have to define the schema manually whereas uh, the crawler define the schema and columns uh, by itself right so we will say add column so i will name it as column name as sentiment maybe and so just before I, I show I had shown you the uh, structure of the of, of our JSON file right so here we will select array so right now we know the array schema right so that's why I am going to just copy and paste uh, whatever crawler has created here because we have this same array schema structure right so it's going to same so you can also read the description that how uh, you have to define uh, on the, the right panel over here right and we will say add then click on next and click on finish and this is how you can add the table or the metadata table manually correct so i think we don't need the manual table so that was just for the purpose of this tutorial just to show you that uh, how we can create the table manually right so we can also go ahead and edit the table right and what not uh, we can also go ahead and edit the schema add columns maybe we will say sentiment 
underscore score and column type as double right and add save right so so that's how uh, we can add uh, certain columns certain things manually right so i'm going to delete this table so it's action so uh, here is uh, one more thing so if i click on view data then it will not show data or it will not uh, populate data in aws glue right so when i will click on view data it will redirect me to the aws athena right so that is where uh, that is what we are going to cover probably in the next tutorial right so we are going to uh, now moving to athena a step forward right so i will delete the table right so i think now we have the metadata table ready right and now in the next tutorial we will take a step further to aws athena correct so if you look at the architecture diagram so we'll take a step further over here from here to here correct and i will cut the video here and as usual if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time